everyone, welcome to part two. If you didn't come from my previous video of me installing the Sparco circuit seat, then this video is gonna be all about how to install your Sparco six point harness. Now with that being said, let's get started. you're going to need a protractor, a piece of string, we use fishing wire, but if you want to use something colorful so you can see inside of your car, that works just as good. And you're also going to need some tape. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out the degrees of where the harnesses are going to sit and have them parallel to the floor. So I'll go ahead and explain that right here. So what the tape is going to do, uh, we're going to find the point of where it's actually parallel to the floor. We're going to pretend that this is your car. Um, so this is going to be the floor. This is your lap belt. So the lap belts are always going to be um, measured at a 60 degree angle. And then underneath the seat, all of the harnesses will be at a 20 degree. And then also before I go ahead and jump into things, um, I just want to tell you guys that you can also have a 10 degree play when it comes to installing your lap belts. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is go ahead and take our tape and we're gonna measure out a straight line. So we're gonna go um, if you guys can see, we're going to go in between, so the middle of the tape is going to match up with these, so hopefully the shadow you can see. So in the, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a shadow and then this guy, so if you can put the tape like literally right in between, that's probably a good point to put it. Okay, after we lined up our tape, we're going to take our protractor and measure out 60 degrees. go ahead and hook up your um, yarn or fishing line whatever to the protractor it makes it easier to find your angles like that we're gonna flip it over and we're going to set it up parallel with the tape and the pivot point which is this right here is going to be lined up with the very edge of the seat and the tape where it meets so just go ahead and put it up against it and then take your yarn or string and just go ahead and follow that line and then wherever your finger hits, that's where you're going to put the first eyelid. But in this case, it's not going to be on the floor. It's going to be put up against the seat. So from here, you're just going to go that way against the car. Um, and then for us, for the WRX, we found a OEM mounting point. So we're just going to go ahead and use that because that's already at a perfect 60 degree angle for us. All right, so for this harness, this is the one that's gonna go in between your legs to prevent you from submarining. What you're gonna do is go ahead and remove your seat cushions, which we already did. And then you're going to see this part of your seat. All you're gonna do is go straight in the middle and straight down. So if you just follow that, you're gonna take your tape and mark it. Once you marked it, you're gonna go ahead and take the seat back out and then you're going to measure 20 degrees. So if this was, let's just pretend that this is the floor of where you marked it. We're going to take the string, and if you want to see it's already at 20 degrees down there at the bottom, you can go ahead and take your string and let's go ahead and draw an angle. We're going to follow the string all the way down 
to the 20. And then wherever the string lands, it's gonna be same as a 60 degree. You're going to mark it. This is where you're going to drill in your second eyelid hook. For these harnesses up here, we're gonna talk about this at a later time. Right now, we're gonna focus on the lap belts and the belt that goes in between your legs to prevent you from submarining. This is gonna be the hardest part, which is finding the mounting points within your car. So I just wanna show you guys real quick that this is actually my OEM mounting point for my OEM seatbelt. So this has just happened to fit the 60 degrees and it also had the same thread pattern. So this is where I put one of them. Now for the middle, this is the point where I was showing you earlier of where you marked it. Now for the protractor, it's already measured at 20 degrees. So once it's measured at the 20 degree angle, go ahead and take your protractor and we're going to put it right in the middle of this tape. Once we have that, go ahead and take the string and follow the 20 degrees all the way down. So mine just happened to actually land on this electrical harness for my seatbelt. So what we did is that we measured from this corner to this corner. We measured the whole thing, we cut it in half, which obviously landed here. And then from this point to this point of where we measured, we literally cut that one in half and the point just happened to land right here. Drilled. We drilled one point here and same thing goes for the other side. We did the exact same thing and we measured it to be right here. This is where we drilled the second point. Now that we've drilled both of these holes, now we're moving on to the fourth one. This one, um, like I said before, this is another 60 degree angle. So uh, we did the same procedure as I showed you earlier on the seat and we followed it up to this side right here. Um, you also wanna make sure when you're drilling these holes, you wanna make sure you're obviously not drilling into any uh, fuel lines, electrical lines, that's obviously very important. Um, so make sure you double check behind your carpets um, if you have any of that stuff. Um, that's definitely a safety concern. So, and now we're ready to put in our eyelid hooks. Now we're going to mount these guys. Um, we already have one over here, like I said before. This one is going to go into this hole. You gotta really feel it. You also have to move the carpet um, padding underneath the way as well. Now we gotta do this one. I just wanna get these guys threaded at least just a little bit. Okay. This one just literally goes in like that. <laughs> okay. So after you have placed your eyelid hooks in, now we're going to move to the Loctite with the nuts and our plates. Now we didn't want to put the Loctite on to our hooks because it would have gotten caught in the carpets and it would have made a really big mess. So this is going to be applied underneath the car as we're screwing the plates in. So we're going to go ahead and jack up the car and we will see you guys underneath. <laughs> So now that the car is jacked up and put up on some jack stands, now what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and grab another person because you're going to need two people for this. One person is going to be underneath the car and another person is going to be inside of the car helping guiding the eyelid hooks um, to the person underneath the car that has the plate, the Loctite, and the nut. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, she's pushing down from the top. You're gonna to want to put your Loctite. We're gonna put the plate that we cut through the hole. And then we are going to thread this up like so. All right, so she's on the top. We're gonna to get the 17 mil and you're gonna start tightening it up. She's gonna be holding it up there so I can tighten it nicely down here. All right, I think that's good. Now that's nice and tight, and it's nice and tight up there. We'll move on to the next one. All right, this is the more difficult one since it's a little bit tighter back here. Um, there's the screw, uh, hence the smaller plate. So we're gonna put that up there, a little Loctite, and she's gonna hold it up top. So now that we have all of our eyelid hooks in, go ahead and take this guy. So this harness is the one that's gonna stay in between your legs. We have to put this one in first because it's gonna be obviously a lot harder if you put the seat in and then you put this in because you won't have any access to the hooks. So what we're gonna do is just kind of act like as if this was sitting in your lap, make sure these are straight and just go ahead and clamp them in. So 
now that these guys are in, it should look like this. We can do some adjustments later. And yeah, now we're ready to put in the seat. After you get the seat in and you put the harnesses through the hole, now you're going to mount the seat back onto your car. So the hole there, and we have another one down there. CJ is working on one in the corner with the harness bar, and there's another one right there. Last step is to put these in. Just do this. Let's <laughs> put in the lap belts. Now we have the lap belts clicked in. Now we're going to put in the very last part. For the seat belts that come with Sparco, they have this on. It's for an eyelid hook that you can put on, but for this application, we're using the um, harness bar. So you take those off so you can properly tie this and adjust it to your uh, height. Now that we have clipped in all of the harnesses, now we're going to find my driving position. And this is where I quick really steering wheel would come in. The person that we're tying this for to be in the car so we can get nice tension for where they're going to sit. Um, and then once that's in, you're going to pull it nice and tight. It's going to lap underneath first and then back around. So like so. Like this. And after that gets tight, we're going to go back under the first One. Make sure that this, um, you can get as much slack out of that as you can. So it just has to be uh, nice and tight on each side. Now that that's tight, you're gonna thread it through the other side. As this gets tighter, you wanna make sure you keep that tension. Now for our final lap, we're gonna go down across here, back in the first loop so it locks it in. We're going through the first one, and then we're going back underneath again. This will lock in everything you just did. There we go. You can see the lap right there. I want to keep this nice and tight. I want to make sure everything's even on both sides. And then all this extra, you can just roll it up however you want, zip tie it. This is a Han specific because it has the three inch to the two inch. How's it feel? It feels really di hey. very different than- Let's see, go forward. Here, here, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Close your door, close your door. I can't. <laughs> oh, 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 there, there we go. <laughs> With this one, I definitely feel more nice, nice and safe. Yeah. Give a little overview. So here's the 60 degrees back, and then here's the uh, Sparco itself. Hans, three to two. And then obviously that one goes between your legs underneath. So I feel like that's a good tightness level. And that goes over there. And that's in the back. All right guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you also watched my part one of me installing the Sparco circuit seat, then that really means a lot to me. Go ahead and give it a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me as well. My goal of the part one and the part two was not only for you to learn something, but to gain some kind of knowledge and some kind of learning experience. Let me know how you guys did if you ended up following my tutorial. Other than that, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at Rex and CJ, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Okay, hold on. That'll work too. Uh, I don't know how to inst and install and uninstall. Mm. That is where your other two eyelid oh, oh, <laughs> hooks are gonna go. <laughs> Barco six point harness. That was good. Barco six point harness. <laughs> the belt that goes in between your legs. Hey everyone, well, Sparko. Oh my god. That's a lot of sparkle. Okay, OEM harness, harness, harness. And this is going to be game. Or a little. You got this, get him. Uh, not that much, but oh my god. No, no, no. <laughs>